traders over the years have complained about the high cost of doing business in the country and also the lack of a conducive environment for their businesses to thrive. The latest on the back of this is the fact that traders in the Ashanti region have threatened to close their shops over harassment by customs officers. President of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Dr. Joseph Obin, has thrown his support behind the decision by leadership of the Ashanti region. We are talking about ease of doing business, time of doing business, and cost of doing business. And all these things have been impeded and hindered by the actions of uh, uh, customs or the GRE. Uh, in Ashanti region. Already that region is suffering from lack of businesses and this thing is going to even aggravate their problems. He touched on claims that the Ashanti region contributes poetry of what is collected in tax revenue. State organizations and all that that have their branches there in Ashanti region, they pay their uh, revenue or they pay their taxes in Accra and so it's captured in Accra. So if you say that um, a central region is still paying more is not based on scientific reasons. Here in Accra, traders say they are facing similar ordeal and they are also ready to close their shops. We are, we are ready. The, any time the uh, commerce people show the red flag, they also support. Nobody will waste them, waste the time. Electric cars, uh, or country people, we are all ready. What is happening is just GRE frustrating traders. It's like you open your shop and then they send they are, they are people to your shop to sit with you and then they said we are not writing the right VAT invoices. Where I think it's not our fault because we pay VAT as people buy, we issue VAT. So if you, as you are here, do you see anybody here? No. So how can I issue VAT invoice? In most cases, they just bump on you and then they try to, they may go through your books without any prior notice. I mean, everything is very, very bad. Sometimes when we speak to the government, we sit with them, we, they don't want to listen to us. Okay. And as traders, we should form a united front to fight some of these things. Leadership of Guta says if the port is not accruing the necessary revenue, then there should be an overhaul of the entire clearance system. And also the tax net should be widened to ensure that we accrue the necessary revenue. Josh Quinn in TV3 News, Accra.